And of course, the NFL's biggest game is just days away now. And like most fans, you're probably ready to focus on the football, but there is a lot that goes on behind the scenes. And joining us now to talk about the financial and logistical aspects of an NFL championship game, State Senator Ron Alting. Senator Alting, thanks so much for coming in. A lot of us remember, those of us with a few gray hairs, remember <laughs> Petu's Restaurant on State Road 38 right. East in Lafayette. But a lot of people may not know that you have deep connections with New Orleans. Oh, huge. My first restaurant uh, opening was in the 80s at uh, St. Charles Avenue, the famous avenue in New Orleans. And I had a managing company. I had a couple nightclubs in the French Quarter. Al Hurt played in one of them. And, uh, 15 years approximately in New Orleans and city was great to me and experienced two Super Bowls right, while I the, was there. Right, the Bears were in one and what was the other game? Can't remember the other one because the Bears dominated it all. Yeah, right. That's back when the fridge was with them. And, uh huh. Yeah. Uh, what was the other game? What years were those? I'm probably testing your I'm memory too at this old. point. Okay, but you lived through two Super Bowl weekends in New Orleans. Yeah. What's that atmosphere like? And I know you were deeply connected with Indianapolis last yes. year, so yes, we'll talk a little bit about that too. But what's the party atmosphere like in New Orleans? Well, it's incredible, particularly as a restaurant tour. You'll do about uh, a month's volume in seven days. Mm -hmm. And what a lot of people don't understand, really for the businesses in the community, it starts about a month prior when all the crews start to come in to set up for the media. And then two weeks prior to Super Bowl to a week, then the media from all over the world comes in. Mm -hmm. So you really start filling your seats in businesses and selling your goods about 30 days prior to kickoff. Now you were uh, in Indianapolis uh, last year yes. for that. Yes. Could you kind of compare and contrast what those two well, vibes were like? You know, we, we've been planning this. The two things uh, that they really look at at a city to choose a Super Bowl is hotel rooms. You got to meet the hotel rooms criteria and the location. And like New Orleans now, Indianapolis has a hub of Arbor hotels right down in a central business district, which is huge. And the second, of course, is the stadium you're playing in, how many seats. Mm -hmm. So with our new one, uh, we fit both criteria in Indianapolis. And the community came together, the businesses, uh, the airports, everybody, and did a fabulous job and threw, and threw a party for Super Bowl. Uh, no, not like any other city, with the exception of New Orleans. Well, okay, almost as good as New Orleans, right? Equally. And it was announced today that, um, I think it was announced today, that Indianapolis is going to try to get the Super Bowl in 2018. We are. What's the economic impact of that? Oh, it's enormous, and it's enormous to everybody and on the outline. But really, the thing that one has to remember is the promotion of the city and the state itself. The, the, the buzz it generates, Absolutely. Right? Worldwide, it's watched, and your city is the highlight. Uh, of all television uh, for, for a good two weeks. So you really do a good job in promoting the values of your, your city and what you have to show. And Indianapolis, the 12th largest city in the country, but equally as important, a clean city, mm -hmm. a safe city to be in. Yeah. And I think we showed them Hoosier hospitality like nowhere else. All right. State Senator Ron Alting, thanks so much for coming My in and sharing Jeff. your perspective Thank on you. Super Bowl weekend.